welcome back students today we are going to talk about the pigments found in algae and the related structures some important terms okay so first of all let's get started with the pigments found in algae some algae they possess a characteristic color due to a number of pigment molecules and these pigment molecules they are found in membrane bound cellular structures which are known as plastids now there are two types of plastids found in algae the first one is known as lycoplast and the second one is chromoplast the only difference between these two types of structures is while lycoplasts are colorless they are mainly involved in the storage of starch and oil the chromoplasts they contain colored pigments now the chromoplast is uh, it is different types okay if a chromoplast contains both chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b molecules they are specifically named as chloroplasts if a chromoplast contains only chlorophyll a molecule it lacks chlorophyll b at that time they are named as chromatophores now the different types of photosynthetic pigments found in different groups of algae first of all we will talk about chlorophyll how chlorophyll distribution okay or you can say how chlorophyll is distributed in different groups of algae it chlorophyll a is found in all the algal classes this is very much important the chlorophyll a you will find in all the algal groups in rhodophyci in addition to chlorophyll there is chlorophyll a there is the presence of chlorophyll d similarly in chlorophyci in addition to chlorophyll a you will find chlorophyll b and in pheophyci in addition to chlorophyll a you will find chlorophyll c that means chlorophyll c b c and d they have specific distributions okay while a is present in all classes d is exclusively present in rhodophyci b is present in chlorophyci and c is present in pheophyci brown algae okay now the xanthophylls there are some important xanthophylls like lutein violoxanthin and neoxanthin and these are found in members of both chlorophyci and pheophyci the chlorophyci it contains lutein violoxanthin neoxanthin and pheophyci in addition to containing all the above three xanthophylls it also contains fucoxanthin which is it is characteristic xanthophyll now the carotenes carotenes are oxygen free alicyclic compounds which are composed of isoprene units or 2 methyl 13 butadiene units okay so these are the oxygen free uh, alicyclic compounds अगर हम बात करेंगे जेंथोफिल्स की जेंथोफिल्स आर द ऑक्सीजनेटेड डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ कैरोटीन्स दिस इज द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन जेंथोफिल्स एंड कैरोटीन्स व्हाइल जेंथोफिल्स आर ऑक्सीजनलेस सॉरी दे आर ऑक्सीजनेटेड डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ कैरोटीन्स ओके द कैरोटीन्स आर द एलिसाइक्लिक दे आर द ऑक्सीजन फ्री एलिसाइक्लिक कंपाउंड्स एंड दीज कंपाउंड्स आर कंस्टिट्यूटेड ऑफ isoprene units many isoprene units <clears throat> now the distribution of carotenes there are different types of carotenes the first one is alpha carotene and it has been found specifically in chlorophyci then beta carotene you can find this type of carotene in chlorophyci pheophyci and rhodophyci that means all the three algal groups then we have <coughs> excuse me <coughs> gamma carotene it is present in chlorophyci and then finally we have epsilon carotene which is found in pheophyci so different types of carotenes they are found in different types of algae this is very much important you may be asked in the examination in which algal group is alpha carotene present okay you have to remember that it is present in chlorophyci similarly beta carotene is present in almost all algal group, groups including chlorophyci pheophyci and rhodophyci 
gamma carotene is present in chlorophycin and epsilon carotene in pheophycin. Now the phycobilins. Phycobilins are water soluble complexes of proteins and bile pigments. And these phycobilins, they are present in the photosynthetic tissues of plants. They are present in the photosynthetic tissues, okay, of algae. And there are two main types of phycobilins. The first one is phycoerythins. They impart a red color to the plants. And these are specifically found in red algae, rhodophyte. The red color of red algae is because of phycoerythins. Similarly, phycocyanin. This pigment, this phycobilin, it imparts blue color. And it is found in case of cyanophyce. Okay. The phycocyanin, which imparts blue color, it is present in case of cyanophyce and because of this pigment cyanophyce appears blue green in color these phycobilins they act as accessory pigments and like carotenoids they help in the transfer of energy to the chlorophyll molecule they are the accessory pigments like carotenoids and their main function is they absorb the sunlight and transfer the sunlight to the main chlorophyll A molecule. Now the eye spot or stigma. The eye spot or stigma it is a pigmented structure. It is a colored structure found in the motile vegetative and reproductive cells of algae. You will find these structures in the motile vegetative and reproductive cells those cells which are motile including vegetative cells as well as reproductive cells here you can see this is the cell of chlamydomonas you will find here a pigmented structure and that pigmented structure is eye spot or stigma the main function of eye spot is they act as light sensitive organelles they direct the movement of the cells towards light Okay, they direct the movement of cells, motile cells. So, the main function of eye support or stigma is they help the cells in movement. They direct their movement where the cell will go. Okay. Now, the pyrenoids. Pyrenoids, they are the proteinaceous bodies present in the chromatophores. Here you can see in the structure. This is the pyrenoid sorry here okay this whole structure this whole structure u-shaped structure this is the chromatophore and inside the chromatophore you will find a small structure this one this proteinaceous structure this is known as pyrenoid and this pyrenoid it is involved in the synthesis of starch it helps us in the synthesis of starch and now, uh, depending upon the species of alga, the pyrenoid can either remain inside the chromatophore or it can be attached to the surface of chromatophore. Okay. So, pyrenoid ya to chromatophore ke andar ho sakta hai ya chromatophore ke surface pe ho sakta hai. Okay. Agar hum baat karenge chlamydomonas ki, it is present inside the chromatophore. It is embedded inside the chromatophore. While as in case of Actocarpus, which is another alga, you can find this chromatophore attached to the surface of, sorry, which you can find this pyrenoid attached to the surface of chromatophore. Now the storage reserves in algae. Different groups of algae, they store food material in the form of different compounds. For example, red algae, it stores food material in the form of Floridian starch. It is very similar to glycogen. Okay. Floridian starch, it is the specific food molecule. It is a specific reserve of food found in red algae. And it is very much similar to glycogen, which is found in animals. Similarly, brown algae, they store D-manitol and limnarin as their reserve of food materials. Lemnarin is a complex carbohydrate, while as D-mannitol is a type of alcohol. 
and then finally green algae the main reserve food material in green algae is starch just like higher plants now the cell wall in algae the algal cells they possess a rigid, rigid cell wall cell wall is the outermost covering of the cells okay say this is the algal cell it is its plasma membrane and outside the plasma membrane it possess a rigid boundary and that boundary constitutes its cell wall now what is this cell wall made up of it depends okay it varies between different groups of algae it is composed of cellulose in chlorophyce it is composed of cellulose and lig sorry al algin in case of phyophyce and in case of rhodophyce the cell wall is composed of cellulose pectin and polysulfate esters so in three different groups of algae the cell wall, cell wall composition it varies okay so this is all for today in the next part we have, we have to deal with the flagellation in algae then we will start with the reproduction okay till then stay blessed and take care